Now, specifically what we're going to do in this example is we are going to create a column called size. And this column is going to look at the value in the effort in hours column. And if the value in this column is less than 250, the size column is going to be set to small. If it's between 250 and 500, it'll be set to medium. And if it's greater than 500, it's going to be set to large. Now you can see here, I've already built this out just for demonstration purposes. Now I'll go ahead and put 750 in this first row here, and I will exit the grid view. And you're going to notice that this value updated to large where previously it was set to small. So we're gonna look at how to use multiple if statements or nested if statements to close out this tutorial. All right, now I've gone ahead and created my calculated column and I've called it size. Now I'm gonna scroll down and you can see here that I've already built out my formula. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly walk through how the formula works and I'm gonna do it in Notepad because it's a little easier to follow the formula when you can see it with the indentation and the multiple line breaks. Now, when we're using multiple if statements, again, we're always going to start with our if statement, just like we saw earlier in the tutorial. So you can see here, my first if statement equals if the effort in hours column is less than 250, then we're going to return or set the column to small. And then we have our comma. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add our next if statement and what I'm using here is the AND formula. What this does is it actually allows you to build out expressions that contain multiple parameters. So I've put my IF open bracket and then I'm going to reference the AND formula. And again, we're going to have another open bracket. And here I can actually specify multiple conditions. So my first condition is if effort in hours is greater than 250, and then I have a comma here to signal that that's the end of that first condition. And then I can just add an additional condition. And you can see here, again, I'm saying if effort in hours is less than or equal to 500. So both of these conditions will either evaluate to true or false. And that's how you can kind of use that end formula there. And if this condition evaluates to true, that is the effort in hours is between 250 and 500, then set that column to medium. 